All right, man, let's talk about Panisa Will. He potentially is look like he's going to be out for the Minnesota Viking game. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate everybody for tapping in. Best way to support the channel, thumbs up, share the video. Make sure the bell icon and hit all notifications. Here you go. Real quick, Detroit Lions planning to be without Panisa Will against the Vikings. Uh, so, man. Zoom, 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 zoom. So, we'll say it's Adam Park another day, another injury. Detroit Lions team that cannot uh, catch a break. Rookie offensive tackle Panisa Willis battling an ankle injury that kept him off practice field on Wednesday, then forced him to work on the side with trainers on Thursday. He did a lot of drills and some change of directions during the 20 minutes that were open to reporters and seemed to be really laboring through some soreness in the ankles. Detroit is hoping for the best, but planning to be without the first round pick on uh, Sunday against. The Minnesota Vikings, quote, you know, right now we're planning to go be going without him. Offensive coordinator Anthony Lynn said before practice, but if he's ready, that'd be great. Lynn isn't supposed to talk about injury, so so definitely injury, so definitely, and tried to backpedal the remarks after a subsequent question, saying, I did not say I didn't expect him to play. I don't think I said that, but I mean, we'll see. Okay. Uh, either way, it seems that Detroit will be trending towards being without his big three on the offensive line, including both tackles for the matchup against the best pass rusher in the field. Pro Bowl center Frank Ragnall Toe was placed on injury reserve this week and is expected to be <laughs> the missing extended time while left tackle Taylor Decker has yet to play while recovering from a finger surgery. Decker injury was forced to will seven round pick into the uh, in the draft to move from right to left uh, days before the opener against San Francisco. So will farewell in that game, although his performance has flagged the last two weeks. He al allowed two sacks in the loss against Chicago over the weekend, one of which was a strip sack in the end of red zone. So will plummeted out of the top 50 of total offensive tackles in the league, according to Pro Football Focus. And now seems is not expected to play at all. And Detroit tries to break the NFL's second longest losing streak in Minnesota. Okay. If Sewell doesn't play, it's unclear how the Lions will proceed at the offensive tackle. Mount Nessa started the four games on right side and could remain there or play left side. Will Holden signed a few weeks ago to be the new swing tackle. was one of the candidates for the job. Another one is High Tide, who signed a big free agent deal last year to Detroit in the right tackle. The injuries and performance issue, dog, uh, dog, Val Tide, uh, while this, uh, his time in Detroit, and he's moving side to the right guard. He is Detroit's lowest uh, rated starting off his line according to Pro Football Focus. So he ain't doing too good inside. He he probably gonna be cut after this year. So I mean, it is what it is. I'd rather take all these injuries right now, where you know where we not expecting them to win much. So I mean, um, yeah, it hurts. Um, I'm hoping they get a couple, at least two wins, bro. If that, if not, man, I don't. I really can't tell you, man. I might just go just talking Pistons, Tigers, Red Wings, man, to that point because. I'm just not going to go down that road anymore with, with, with them, man. They don't – if they can't win the football, if they can't win a football game or two, or at least two, I don't know, at least one, okay? Um, if they can't do that, man, I don't know, man. I'm just – to me, a terrible, Kenny, kind of terrible. I mean, Shaq, Krispy Kreme, um, um, the Detroit Lions, uh, uh, Kenny, um, they couldn't win the game again. Uh, um, um, if, they go, if they lose every game, Campbell and uh, – Homes, they need to be cut. People say, oh, no. And I told one Pride Nation how I felt about this season. I didn't put it on wax. But I told them behind the scenes, I'm like, man, I told them, I'm like, man, I don't think they're going to win the game. I'm sorry to be negative, man, but I don't know. And I think then Campbell going to be fired first. And Brad Holmes should be going too. Because Patricia was able to win football games. It was Brad Holmes' uh, decision to take Matt Stafford. It was his decision. I mean, to trade. I mean, to take Jerry Goff. It was his decision to do all this. So, shout out to Stafford. Had another good game with messed up fingers. So they still had a good game. We'll see, man. We'll see, man. But a position that was supposed to be a strength, easily a weakness. And now the running backs are the only ones strength, thanks to Jamal Williams. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit all notifications on the bell icon button. Don't forget you can make a donation financially. Cash out CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link. Going in the bottom of your screen description. Uh, best way to donate is thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, um, uh, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video quest, all the social media links there. Appreciate the love and support. Other than that, man, check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Check out my other channel, Good Fellow Sports TV, Good Fellow Sports TV 2.0. Check out more C Sports Talk 2.0 just in case we get hacked again.